Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. 7 Factories, a total of 370 million chips. SMIC suddenly dropped a bombshell. How do American chip companies respond? Why is SMIC's recent breakthrough so important? For China's semiconductor industry, this is not just a technological breakthrough, but a huge leap. So how did SMIC do it? SMIC recently announced that the company has successfully developed a new generation of chips with a 7 nanometers process and has entered the mass production stage. What is the concept? In short, this is a major step forward for China in high-end chip manufacturing. Before this, SMIC mainly relied on 14 nanometers and 12 nanometers processes, which were very advanced at the time, but seemed a bit powerless in emerging fields such as 5G and artificial intelligence. However, the advent of 7 nanometers chips has broken this bottleneck. How strong is the performance of 7 nanometers chips? Not only has it greatly improved in performance, but also in energy efficiency, that is, it can process more data with the same energy consumption. There is no doubt that the advantages of 5G equipment and artificial intelligence technology are here. In the past, due to the limitations of chip performance, the equipment ran slowly and consumed more energy. However, the emergence of 7 nanometers chips will greatly improve the above problems. Of course, SMIC's ambitions are not limited to these. They plan to further increase R&D investment in 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers processes to accelerate technological innovation, industrial transformation, and modernization. This plan will undoubtedly lay a solid foundation for future market competition. SMIC is expected to occupy an increasingly large proportion of the global semiconductor market in the next few years. All this is inseparable from SMIC's technological innovation and capital investment. After continuous technological research and investment, the independent development speed of China's integrated circuit industry has been greatly accelerated. The successful mass production of the latest generation of chips is the best example of this effort. SMIC recently announced that it will spend tens of billions of dollars to build seven cookie factories, with a scale of about tens of billions of dollars. After the completion of these two new factories, SMIC's annual production capacity will reach more than 6 million pieces, and the inventory value will reach 3.5 billion US dollars. This not only reflects SMIC's keen insight and rapid response to future market demand, but also shows its foresight in the global market. China currently has a 17.6% share and has become the world's third largest foundry industry country. These figures fully demonstrate China's importance and influence in the global semiconductor industry. The Chinese semiconductor industry, represented by SMIC, is stepping up to a new level step by step. SMIC holds a maximum of 350 million US dollars in shares, which is actually a future-oriented marketing strategy. Why do this? Simply put, this is a response to the rapidly changing market demand and the possible damage to the supply chain. For example, when an epidemic breaks out worldwide, many companies will face shutdowns due to supply chain disruptions. By maintaining a large inventory, SMIC can still maintain high production capacity in emergencies and will not lose market opportunities due to shortages. This inventory strategy is also a market strategy. SMIC holds a certain number of stocks and can ship them in time when the market is good and sees the best opportunity. 
Just like the stock market, investors who have the chips can calmly deal with the ups and downs of the market. The inventory strategy adopted by SMIC is to take the initiative in market fluctuations. When mentioning SMIC, Huawei must be mentioned. This is a strategic cooperation. The two companies have become a mutually beneficial relationship in the international market. SMIC provides Huawei with advanced chip manufacturing technology and commercializes its terminal products. This cooperation not only realizes the sharing of resources and complementary technological advantages between the two parties, but also accelerates product development and innovation. For example, Huawei needs to rely on SMIC's high-performance chips in the process of promoting 5G technology, and SMIC needs to rely on Huawei's marketing channels and brand influence to achieve this. This complementary cooperative relationship gives the two companies a greater advantage than other competitors. The cooperation between the two parties has great strategic significance for expanding the international market. Cooperation between enterprises can optimize the supply chain, reduce production costs, and enhance market competitiveness. For example, SMIC manufactures a large number of core chips, and Huawei's mobile phones are very popular in the global market. This cooperation will give China and the United States a more solid position in the international market. In the face of the challenges brought by the US technology blockade, SMIC has adopted a diversified development strategy of independent research and development plus technology research and development. In order to overcome the limitations caused by the technology blockade, they have increased their investment in basic research, applied science and technology. For example, in terms of lithography technology, SMIC has strengthened cooperation with domestic and foreign universities and research institutes to accelerate technology research and development and application with an open innovation model. The escalating technological conflict between China and the United States has profoundly affected the global semiconductor industry chain. But this is an opportunity for SMIC, which has accelerated the localization of its supply chain and the adjustment of global resource allocation. Through independent innovation and technological progress, SMIC has gradually formed a set of effective strategies to deal with external pressure. This not only helps them improve their technological self-sufficiency, but also opens up a new situation for the diversification of the global semiconductor industry chain.